Thank you all for uh, making time to be here today. And uh, I'm excited and, and honored to read to you all. Um, this is a poem about the presidential election. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> uh, this one is called A Photo of Me, Clothes I No Longer Own. Uh, it's, about, uh, it's about travel and the beautiful way that I feel like travel can expand us but also make us feel very small. And yeah, here it is. Uh, you told me to listen for the cicadas that summer that I went to Greece. You gave me a tiny cypress tree on the cover of a Bon Voyage card you made. They air their laundry on the streets there. The colors are different. You can't explain. As if set loose from some primeval forge. The landscape is more ample than the cattle plain north of my capital city. Even the hill country west of the Colorado would wear the shadow of its mountains. There's too much to say about the ancient democracy and the morning rituals of the city. The vendors dragging tables into the street and the smell of coffee simmering in copper. The Egyptian professor is smoking on the roof of my Tempe hotel, talking about agriculture with this young man who washes his hands a bit too much and has concerns in the mirror. If we keep going on these journeys, and if we keep coming back renewed with humility, understanding a little more about the world yet so much less, eventually we won't know anything. I hope for it some time. <laughs> uh, this one's called All Night Drive, uh, Transitive Mind. This is in the issue that you all have today from Borderlands. Um, it's about, uh, I guess it's about fatigue and driving and traveling. It's kind of similar to the first one in a way. Um, maybe the way that the mind wanders when you're on the road for a long time, there's something hypnotizing about it. So I put together some, some connections and it just kind of built itself, I guess. Um, petroleum is gasoline, is asphalt. Copper is wire, is radio. Beach sand is glass. Cow skin, seat. Disposable straws idle on shelves and trucks until they're brief duty. Plastic has no grace. A water burial is a trash island in the Pacific Ocean. We saw it on the internet. This, the only quick mark corn dog, is a midnight quick mark corn dog. Good enough in the stomach with burnt coffee. Like everything, just good enough for now. This next one um, is called a genealogy of motion. I guess in a way it's about travel too. Um, travel something that I love to do, so it crops up a lot in my reflections on life. So this is just kind of a, me thinking about the different ways that humans have moved over time and maybe the reasons that we do it. And, um, anyway, here we go. Uh, as the hurt thinned, the wind showed us how to go. Our hopeful boats and wagons always seeking chance, if stretching origin. Homesteaders dig for water, and nomads kneel in western creeks to pan for gold. The world-moving men step outside their endless party to share visions and cigar smoke. The neighborhood children move their dormant blood in packs of bicycles. In the bottom of a porcelain morning, you are in the house. This formless day will narrow. And at night, that old longing nudges you out of doors for an evening walk, and you return with your contours broadened. You wear spring tree webs and pollen. And the end of all your motion clarifies that to be whole is to know that maybe there's nothing more than where you are. And uh, this is my last one. Um, it's called the Earth's Defense. And I wrote this in a way to compare I guess how slowly the, the earth and nature works um, versus how quickly we feel like we need to do things all the time. Um, here it is. Water scours river rocks and carries soils. Oxygen dulls our metals in a time-lapse violence of rust, leaving a breath of patina on the leather that it nibbles. Proud in our flesh, we pose in spandex. We build titanium bicycles. We watch commercials that flatter our strength. The artful sweat on graceful muscles sells sugar, water, and sneakers. Roots crumble concrete and tilt fences. 
Trees scarred by lightning stand firmer than protesters. The Earth's defense against humans is time. Nature works slower than we can. <laughs>